Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another podcast episode. Let's get straight into it. Why guys don't approach anymore? I did make one of these episodes last year. Don't know, I can't remember around about what time it was. But here's three more reasons why guys do not approach anymore. I think I had three reasons originally as well. If you haven't checked out that podcast episode, make sure you check it out. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some data, real-time data at the end. How girls want to be approached, how most girls want to be approached. Um, Obviously, it's different for every girl and obviously the age that we're living in now is different times are different as well but yeah so stick around for that so this is based off of just things i've seen online from other guys like in comment sections of other videos and stuff so you already know what time it is i do my what i call real-time research so obviously i'm actually going into the comments of videos that have been posted like recently you know not just videos i've posted like three four years ago like these are recent videos and also just something that i'm noticing at the minute so number one one reason why guys don't approach girls anymore and i guess this is more for like in person as opposed to online but yeah one reason why guys don't approach anymore is because guys want to be respectful like put it this way right guys that you know are being genuine that want to get to know you that want to court the girls that want to date them like for real no ulterior motive you're not just trying to hit you're not just trying to smash like you actually want to get to know this girl yeah guys literally say they they just want to be respectful they don't want to come off as like we're disrespecting you girls or we're making you feel uncomfortable and stuff especially the day and age that we live in creeps and stuff and you know girls feeling unsafe and shit so we'd just rather not go into that territory <laughs> we just rather not approach at all because we want to be respectful about it you know i'm not saying we as in me i'm not putting myself in that i'm just saying this is something that i notice uh, guys want to be respectful number two why guys don't approach anymore is they don't want to be labeled a creep now this is quite a big one because uh, it, it's tough because i think on one hand girls say that he was a creep because she just wasn't attracted to him she just didn't like the way that guy approached her whereas he might have been nervous stuttering whatever he might have been like trying to psych himself up to go approach you but he backed out of it so maybe he was staring at you and then like he just thought oh no i don't want to you know what i mean so guys don't want to be labeled creeps at the end of the day so again i know this is all coming from a place of fear and you know it's very easy to say well you shouldn't be scared you should just do it like well here's the thing right like girls that say that you have to remember it's always us guys that have to make the first move do you know what let me not even say have to make the first move we get to make the first move because i think it's actually a privilege to make the first move as a guy you see what i'm saying i think it's actually a good thing you know because it's boosting your confidence it's making you focus less on what could go wrong quote unquote um and just having fun with the interaction you see what i'm saying girls don't have i wouldn't say they don't have to they can if they want to however we know even though the world is changing girls still don't approach guys they just don't the guy is the initiator in most things in a relationship as well anyway you know even right down to sex so that's um going off on a tangent but you guys see what i'm saying because we are the ones that do the approaching whether it be online or whether it be in person being labeled a creep as a guy like it's so i almost can't even describe what that feels like you see i mean i've never been labeled a creep however i can understand how just from watching videos online from other girls saying oh he was so creepy he was just weird he was just do you know what i mean that just makes you feel like okay i'm never gonna do it again it's shaming it's shameful to feel like that so guys would rather just not do it than have the potential to be labeled that and we're not saying if any of these are right or or wrong or whatever these are just reasons that i've come up with based on what i've seen and number three final reason why guys don't approach anymore or why they seem to not approach anymore i'm sure there's still guys that approach third reason is that internet dating has taken over and it's probably the biggest point out of all of them because here's the thing the internet has made it so easy for us to date each other without actually seeing each other without actually interacting without you know actually building that connection building attraction building tension i mean you can build that you can build attraction you can build tension through a text like literally you know that's why sexting is a thing like you can literally do it however we have forgotten what it really means to actually go out and make a meaningful like connection listen even if you're not trying to have a relationship i'm talking about just going out and approaching a girl just talk just chatting to her do you know what i mean there's nothing behind it you're not trying to smash you're not trying like you're just going out to enjoy life and meet new people you feel me and you guys can let me know whether you think this is a bad or good thing internet dating i mean in my opinion it's good because in a sense you can it's something new do you see what i'm saying it's something new something fresh that's been brought to the dating marketplace right however i would say it's more detrimental to guys because it's almost too easy and i'm not saying too easy in the sense that you can just i mean you can do this you can literally message a girl today and you can be 
in her bed like in two weeks time like you can or in a month's time or in three months time like you can in it however when i say too easy it's like you don't have to exercise your social skills as much so really you're not building confidence charisma all that stuff that we talk about on here you know all the things that are essential to that because it's so easy to now swipe right swipe left and all that stuff you know there, there's no really incentive to go out and to actually meet people properly and i think people's social skills and guys social skills as a result you know get less and less because again you're just on your phone you can easily just go to google and just pull up a line and use it on a girl but that's not even you bro <laughs> would you even say that like what's the point of going on google unless you're trying to use it as a um what's the word you know when you've got an idea but you just need something to kind of it's like thinking of a word but you don't know what it is so you type something in to actually get that word you see what i'm saying if it's for something like that then i understand but if you're literally going to google for the answers on what to say to a girl and then use that line on her and then you meet her and then she's like yo this is not the guy do you know what i mean bro there's no point you might as well practice in real time how to actually talk to them you feel me so these are three reasons why guys don't approach anymore number one they want to be respectful they don't want to make the girl uncomfortable number two and do you know what number one on to just a little side note of that number one like i think that's also because like there's a lot of hostility towards men nowadays the dating scene and feminism and things like that there's a lot of that's another reason we just want to keep the peace <laughs> Number two, they don't want to be labeled a creep. We don't want to be shamed that we were the weirdos or disgusting or whatever. You know, no one likes that. And number three, internet dating has taken over and it's just made it so much. It's almost made it needless to actually go out. Obviously, you still need to go out. I'm not saying that like, it's completely gone, but I'm just saying that's kind of the direction we're heading. And so funnily enough, though, I did a poll on Instagram. I did a poll on Instagram and I'm just going to pull it up. And I asked the girls specifically, right? I asked the girls, like, how would you want to be approached? would you want someone to actually like approach you in person you want a guy to approach you in person or do you want him to slide in the dms or like you know what i mean tinder whatever so these are the results i got right this is just like my own story i'm gonna pull it up real quick and 95 percent said in person five percent said they would rather get dm'd or online so it's been just under 24 hours since this post has gone up so girls would actually prefer to be approached in person now i don't know how that's gonna work <laughs> when these are some of the fears that guys have i'm not saying all guys have this fear but you know a significant number of guys have this fear so yeah <laughs> another thing is like girls often say you know just just approach us like just you know come up to us or whatever and we'll see what happens but it's, it's like guys sometimes the signs that you girls give off i'm not gonna lie to you the signs that you girls give off for us to approach you are shocking absolutely shocking like i've heard girls say that yeah in, if a guy wants to approach me i just look at him i'm like do you know how many people i look at in a day like especially when i'm going out how the hell am i meant to know that that girl wants me to approach her she looked at me what but then people will also say that just because she looks at you doesn't mean she wants you to approach do you know what i mean it's it's just bro it's just too much fluff it's too much like it's just too much stuff in the air like there's no clarity on this so girls let us know if you're listening to this podcast like how do you actually want us to approach you to me i always say look just keep it simple i just say it, keep it simple as a guy if a girl is not feeling your vibe then don't act as if it's the end of the world you just say okay have a good day and go about your business you know what i mean keep it simple eye contact if she smiles at you then obviously that's one thing that she's saying she's receptive to it i actually have a real time story about that where a girl i was taking a bus to work uh one day there was a girl at the bus stop i literally looked at her and it was a good three second look we both smiled and then we actually ended up talking and on the bus journey and turns out we were like going to a similar place etc exchange contact details got the snapchat boom but i'd say the main thing guys is look out for body language if you are looking to approach because body language says a lot you know actions never lie actions always speak louder actually actions can lie but you guys know what i'm trying to say actions speak louder so um that's what i'd say but girls let us know let us guys know you know what i'm saying how do you want us to approach you and please do a better job at giving us the right signs and we will do also do a better job at noticing the signs as well girls are very subtle with it when it comes to you know letting us know that they want to be approached so those are the three reasons why guys don't approach anymore let me know what you thought of this podcast and i'll see you guys next time